ministry colleague tells the story of trying to build a simple nativity scene out of cardboard with all her children helping. Everyone got something to make, Mary and Joseph, the animals in the manger and so on, but it was a disaster. Nothing worked the way it was supposed to. Fold here, insert flap number one. Whatever they tried, everything leaned sideways or toppled over. The manger was torn, the angel fell down. Then the six-year-old looked at it all going nowhere and said, Mommy, where is God in this mess? It's a question that many of us ask ourselves when we look at the world around us. It wasn't just in Mary and Joseph's time, as Carolyn pointed out, that the world was dictated by fear and shame, by oppression and marginalization. Indeed, this past year, we too have watched our world fall to pieces around us as we witness atrocities and injustices, as we experience grief and struggle, as we face the impossible daily and wonder just where it is that God might be found. And it is in this state, broken, searching, questioning, that we find ourselves here together, listening to a story as old as time, a story so familiar that it seems to be written on our very souls, trying to hear the good news that it might hold for us. So just what is it that we hear? Well, on this night, we are reminded that God came into human history in the middle of political oppression and poverty to a backwater town, to a couple without shelter, shamed by their pregnancy out of wedlock, who would become refugees and immigrants when they fled from a cruel ruler and feared for the life of their child. On this night, we are reminded God broke into the world in the most unexpected way, in the most unassuming form, changing the whole of human existence with a tiny baby's cry into the mess and confusion of everyday lives, on this night, God showed up. On this night, and every Christmas night, we hear once more the hope that comes with Christmas, that God has come right into the middle of human messiness to give us the gift of infinite love and grace, the promise of peace and an end to suffering that somehow in the midst of our ordinary lives, blessing breaks in, if only we choose to see it. You see, blessing doesn't always come in the ways that we expect it. For unwed, teenaged Mary, the news that she was carrying a child must have seemed anything but welcome. When Joseph searched in vain for a place to marry, for Mary to deliver their child, a drafty stable filled with animals was certainly not the first choice for accommodation. When the sky erupted with angel song, the shepherds trembled in terror, feeling anything but jubilant. So too it is for us. When we face Christmas without a cherished loved one, when our relationship ends, when our position is declared redundant, when our dreams and plans are thrown upside down and we don't know what the future holds, we also ask ourselves, where is God in this mess of a world? Well, friends, on this holy night, we are told, God is right here in a manger with the animals, with those who are hurting, with those who are waiting to die and those keeping vigil by their bedside with those who are hopeless and in despair. On this night, God is with those who are imprisoned, who are deported, who are rejected, those who are alone. On this night, God is right here. On this night, we remember, we celebrate that our holy scriptures and tradition tell us the God of all creation took a great risk to become one of us, to share in all of our joys and sufferings, to place the future of humanity's hope in the hands of a vulnerable, fragile baby. 
on this night, we remember God chose to be present with us, to be one of us, and to share all the good and all the bad, to roam from town to town, and to help those who would let him, to serve people, forgive them, heal them, feed them, to love unconditionally throughout his life, and to choose to die rather than to resort to violence. God chose to show us that love is always possible, that justice is always the answer, that the forgotten ones are those who deserve the most care, and in so doing, to show us the very nature of God. The Christmas story isn't just a sweet story, it's our story. It's the story of love in a violent, often cruel world, the story of hope brought to a struggling people, the story told by unexpected messengers to unsuspecting recipients. And it's not so very different from our own. Pastor Nadia Bowles Weber says that to experience Christmas is to trust that God can do this thing again. God can again be born in me, in you, in this broken mess of a gorgeous world. My friends, on this night, whatever you are facing, you can trust that God loves you, God gives you hope, and God is with you in the messiness of your life and the mess of our world. Blessing is breaking into our world at every turn. Emmanuel, God with us. Because of the child in the manger, we can be assured that God has and will always come to us in our messiness and will simply love us, forgive us, give us grace, because God can do no other. On this night, God comes with love. What a gift. Thanks be to God. Amen.